What's up, Ensven Squad? Mr. Holton here, and today we're going to explore a very interesting theory that's been floating around on the interwebs lately. The uh, Shepherd's Child Theory. <laughs> now, a lot of you are instantly going... Uh, what now? And I gotta say, I understand where you're coming from. At first, my eyebrows were raised to the moon and back because there are a few things to discuss here that were obvious to me, but obviously they're not obvious to everyone else. And in usual fashion, why don't you go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. Oh, and by the way, you're asking what this shirt is? You see that? Nice. I wonder what that could be, huh? Shirts from the Merc store. So uh, if you uh, if you like the logo and you don't think it's uh, way too similar to the original N7 logo, then go ahead and go buy something. I don't know. Go buy a cup. <laughs> okay, so in order to discuss this theory properly, we got to get some things cleared up. The most apparent thing we have to mention is that most species in Mass Effect cannot produce children with other races. So even if Garrus has, you know, reach and Shepard has flexibility, it's not going to result in anything more than a damn good time. <laughs> yeah, boy. It's the same thing with Tally. No matter how many immune boosters Tally shoots into her suit, she's just not going to be able to produce a Corian slash human hybrid. Gosh darn, Barstet, I hear you swearing to yourself as you hug your Tally body pillow tight. And I hear ya. These facts are just too sad. Hear, hear. Hope is not yet lost. There is still someone who can carry Shepard's child, one who many considers to be the main waifu of the trilogy. The one and only, Liara Tassoni. <laughs> it's pretty well known that the Sari are capable of creating children with other species. Heck, they can even do the deed with the toughest of Krogan and produce little baby blues by just doing that. But that's also kind of the issue here, isn't it? A lot of you may have not thought of this, but Asari can in fact only give birth to Asari children. So no pure blood Krogans, no Turians, and no humans. Why though? Because just like any other race in Mass Effect, Asari cannot inherently produce children with other species. Then how come it's still possible for them to make children? In some way, with other species? Huh? Well, because of something called parthenogenesis. Parthenon what now? Alright, let's just call it virgin birth. Wait a moment, so Asari can just get pregnant when they want to? Well, no. The Asari still needs a partner, and this partnership is what results in the so-called melding that we can see happen now and again throughout the trilogy. The melding process does just what it says. The Asari and her partner melts their nervous system and shares memories, thoughts, and feelings with each other. A pair becomes one during the melding. So then what? Well, the melding creates a genetic combination of the mother and the father, so even if a child is an Asari, she may still have similarities in other ways with the father. You know, like a similar personality. Alright, so now that you know how Asari reproduction works, wouldn't it be pretty easy to just have Shepard's kid being Liara's daughter? Sure, I mean, the explanation is there, but it would be kind of weird for, well, anyone who did not romance Liara. You see, the biggest issue with Liara bearing Shepard's child would be the fact that it forces everyone else just to go along with Liara being canon as a romantic interest. But wait, there is one additional thing that may explain why Liara could have Shepard's child in her. Tell me. And that is that time when Liara and Shepard melded together on Earth before the final push. I just know I'll have a clever line five minutes from now. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment if you want it. Of course I do. Close your eyes.
for everything. Ah, well, of course, there is absolutely a possibility that Liara may have gotten knocked up right there. She does call it a gift herself, you see. And what better gift than a child to honor the memory of the greatest leader the galaxy had ever seen? Except, in this case, we wouldn't know if it was actually a child that Liara meant when she said that, and neither would Shepard. Sure, if you romanced Liara, then, well yes, her having a child would absolutely make sense. But for anyone who didn't, Liara would have forcibly made a child with Shepard without his or her consent. And you know, that's a pretty big no-no. A very big no-no. No, 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 no. And sure, it could be argued that Shepard knew it was a child in the making since they were basically reading each other's thoughts and memories when they melded. But it would be really strange if we, the audience, didn't get that information while we saw it happening, so... Hmm. I don't know, if Bioware decided to do something with this idea, then I would assume that people would riot in the streets. Look here, I understand that a lot of you guys really would want this to happen. Trust me, I've read 30 to 40 comments on this exact thing throughout a lot of videos about Mass Effect on YouTube. So I know. And I'm not saying that it won't happen, but I just have really, really big doubts that it would. In the case of Liara having Shepard's child, it would just be better if Bioware just made sure that Liara was the canon romantic interest. It's not impossible considering that it seems that Destroy will be the canon ending. And I also have to touch on one very important thing before we end this off. The character creation aspect of Mass Effect would essentially go out the window if you were to play as Shepard's child. Unless the child is not the player character but instead an important character in the story that we meet at some point. And I don't know, I'm just not very keen on running around as an sorry. Except, you know, if we could possibly choose our race, but then that would cancel out the whole Shepard's Child idea because we know that Shepard can't have children with either Garrus and Tally and any other race for that matter, except for the Asari and of, of course humans. So yeah, even if we get to see Shepard's Child in the next Mass Effect, it would still be really strange for anyone who didn't romance Liara. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Let me hear from you guys who don't want this to happen. What do you think? Of course, you're free to comment anywhere you like, depending on who you romanced. It doesn't matter to me, but let me know. And do you think it would be doable with another explanation? If you were a writer on Bioware, what would your explanation be in order to make this happen? And as always, have a great day, Ensvan Squad. Mr. Olten, signing out.